My name is Jabanda Massey. I work for the Animal and Plant Health Agency in the UK and, and my background has been in wildlife management. So for about 30 years I worked in wildlife management in, in a number of areas but mainly in non-lethal methods to manage wildlife. I really like the applicative side of my work. So I started to work in, on fertility control about 15 years ago. Um, I started to work with, initially it was a project looking at the possibility of using fertility control uh, for wild boar. We started a big project uh, working on wild boar in captivity to see whether a contraceptive that had been developed in the States could be used and was effective and it didn't cause any side effect on the animals. And the project was very successful, so everything started from there and we expanded on a number of projects. Besides testing the actual contraceptive, that was an injectable contraceptive, we also developed species-specific delivery system, so it's a boar-specific delivery system that we named the BOSS, the Boar Operated System, wild boar to obtain baits containing an oral contraceptive when an oral contraceptive would be available but no other animals could feed from it so it's specific to the wild boar. I've mainly worked with gonacon which is a vaccine that induces antibodies to proteins or hormones that are essential for reproduction so it vaccinates an animal against uh, cycling uh, and against reproducing for a number of years, generally, after a single dose, one, two doses maximum. I'm leading a small team of researchers and we're involved in a number of projects. One of the most exciting ones is in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is not what everybody think about, so not high tall skyscrapers, there's also a lot of green, a lot of parks, but there are lots of uh, people living in Hong Kong and feral cattle are a big problem. And because they cause traffic accidents, they cannot be killed because people feel strongly about uh, these animals being a cultural heritage. In the 60s, when building became very important in Hong Kong, people let open the stables where they had uh, cattle and uh, these animals went in the wild and multiplied. So now there are more than a thousand cattle in Hong Kong. So I was contacted by the Hong Kong government to see whether we could help and in uh, collaboration with the National Wildlife Research Centre in Fort Collins in the US, we set up a programme and we have started in 2013 and we're still going to decrease the population of feral cattle uh, through fertility control, injectable fertility control agents. And because of this, another project came along, still in Hong Kong, on uh, wild pigs or wild boar. They have, again, too many wild boar, as everywhere in the world, and uh, they cannot be culled in cities. So the alternative, again, is fertility control. So we are running this uh, project with uh, colleagues in Hong Kong. And the last project I would like to mention is a project where we are developing uh, and delivering oral contraceptive for grey squirrels in the UK. Grey squirrels in the UK are invasive, non-native. We currently have about two and a half millions of grey squirrels, the American grey squirrels, because they were introduced um, and they've kicked out the red squirrel, the native species, that is now down to about 140,000. So there's a lot of impetus and will from the public to do something but grey squirrels are cute and not a lot of people want to see them dead. It's a, it's a very difficult choice. So we are trying to develop an oral contraceptive and then even if we had the oral contraceptive tomorrow we need to deliver it to three million squirrels which is a big challenge. I believe wildlife uh, 
fertility control has a very, very big role to play as a complementary tool or as an alternative tool to traditional methods to manage wildlife. So there are a number of contexts where I could see fertility control being used in the future. Um, and as I said, it could be used as alternative to traditional methods such as culling or in addition to traditional methods. I'm a terminal optimist and I'm, a, um, I'm an enthusiastic person. And, and wild boar are amazing creatures. They are intelligent, they exploit human settlements and people, people habits. They are they're beautiful to look at, it might be a personal opinion, and, and they're very, very interesting to study and they're growing everywhere around the world. So there will always be work. I, I keep telling my young colleagues, there will always be work for people like us because society needs us 